Hey guys, welcome back, where we continue the series of three British Wonder Kids. Today, we're going to have a look at the midfielders. And, first up, in our uh, three British Wonder Kids the midfielders edition, we have the one and only Mark Kerr. This guy, as you can see, even at the beginning of the game, is ready to walk into most teams other than the very elite and with that determination of 20 and that high work rate within half a season he's basically a top midfielder you can uh, he starts off at Falkirk in Scotland he's on a low contract he's worth 100k but within about a month he'll always sign 99% of the time sign a new contract with a minimum fee release clause of 400k so pretty much anyone can sign him the only complication comes in if someone bids before he signs that then it becomes about a million that you have to pay to get him but still an absolute bargain the uh, bit of advice I'll give you about Mark Kerr before I show you how he develops he will request to be on a youth contract you know, hot young prospect. If you offer him that though, there's a risk you won't get him because nearly if someone else comes in and asks for and offers him a contract where he's going to play in the first team, he'll always go there. He just wants to play. You could be in the first division and offer him a contract where he'll play and he'd join you ahead of going to Man U as a youth prospect. So if you really want him, I would always, or if anyone else has bid, I would always make him squad rotation he's ready to get a few games anyway so it's fine to play him and that's your best way to make sure you always get hold of this very sweet piece of championship manager property let's uh, jump forward and let me show you how he looks in a few years time so here we are we're in 2007 he went to derby you see derby signed him for that 400k pretty much as soon as they could within a few weeks of the first season He's been playing regularly. Now look at that. He's agile, he's quick, he can pass the ball. 20 technique, 20 stamina. As you can see every year, even in that first year, he nearly averaged seven. This is in a poor team as well. Doesn't look, he's regular in the Scottish team. He's a really good player. Of any British midfielder in the game, this is the one you've got to sign. Right, second up in our uh, three British Wonder Kids midfielders is Matthew Everington. He uh, starts the game at Tottenham. You know, might know him. He had a pretty good career. Went to West Ham. Had a few uh, problems, I think. But West Ham had to pay off a load of his gambling debts. So he was, they were gonna, someone's going to break his legs. But that's beside the point. On this game, he's a lovely player to sign. It's worth a couple of million at the start. Tottenham aren't always keen to sell him, but usually by midway through the first season, he's not getting played, he's starting to get itchy feet, and he's a great player to put to sign. There's not a lot of uh, really quality left wingers on the game, particularly ones that you can snap up on the cheap. So uh, Matthew Everington is definitely one you want to uh, consider. A bit of probably two million at the beginning of the game will shift him and yeah the further in you go to be honest Tottenham don't rarely well sometimes they do but they rarely nurture him as they should and so you can normally get a bit of a bargain let's jump five or six years to the future and let me show you okay here we go we're in 2006 and just look at Matthew Everington now lightning lightning speed he can dribble He's got the technique and the work rate again, let me say. He basically stayed at Tottenham for quite some time. Like I said, was never really appreciated, sent out on loan. Birmingham snacked him up, and as soon as they gave him a chance in the team, boy, did he repay. Now Celtic have uh, signed him, and uh, that just goes to show how good this player can be. Another good thing about Etherington is he is receptive to training. So obviously I said that there's not a lot of great left-wingers on the game, 
But I don't think a lot of it's not a popular position to be fair. A lot of you guys might not be playing a left winger. But if you want to retrain him to play in the centre, he will do that. If you want to retrain him as a forward, I've done that in the past. So uh, even if you want him on the right side, I'm pretty sure that he'd be able to go for that. I've never done that myself. But yeah, he's a good young player. Always comes good. And he's very malleable. If, you wanna, if you're not happy having him as a left winger, train him up to play down the middle. He can do it. Train him, train him to play as a forward. He can do it really good prospect so let's move on to the third and final of our British young midfielders and here he is the third and final British wonder kid for today it's Mr Kieran Richardson another player that you'll probably know from real life he obviously uh, was at Man United had quite a few years at Sunderland very solid and very well-known Premier League player in this, he's on a free, having been at the youth books of Man U and West Ham, and he comes good very often. He's a really good young player. The wonder of him being on a free is doesn't cost you anything, and he will sign for anyone. I signed him for Boss United in the conference, which is about as low as you can go on this game. Um, within a few years, he's a stupendous player. If you go to, you know, even if you want to play one of these really low leagues, like, you know, go to Scandinavia. Can you place Croatian teams on here? Pretty much as low as you can go. He'll be willing to come. He doesn't always get seen. Sometimes, look, see, St. Pat's in Ireland. That's the kind of, anyone can sign him. And he always comes good. Let's uh, jump forward, have a little look at how he develops. Right, so here he is in uh, the year 2007, as you can see, pretty tidy. The only problem that we do have here, he's not very quick, and I've never seen him become very quick. But other than that, a really useful uh, player. His history here is quite interesting, so Burnley snapped him up, gave him a bit of time, developed him, decided to bring him into the first team, and then Juventus have swooped, paid a million quid for him, and he's not quite settled there yet. Picked up Italian though. And now he's uh, been loaned out to Derby. Where, again, only 22. If he gets some decent amount of football, he's going to go and come even better. But as you can see, for someone who can sign on a free, for pretty much anyone, you can see the potential. You can see how he's improved from uh, when he was 16. He's got to be one to consider. And that's why he makes it into my... Uh, top three of the wonder kids so thanks for watching if uh, any of you guys can think of anyone I've missed well anyone who I missed off the top three who really deserves the to be you know he's way better than any of these guys that I've overlooked please let me know below if you uh, like the video then please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel cheers thanks very much